my solar system has been very sad for a very long time and I've kind of been thinking about getting rid of it. It's mostly just been a backup thing that just recharges for free. Uh, but today I came across something that was too good to pass up on and the solar project is going to get revived because these are uh, six Sun and Shine A602 slash 600 OPZV batteries. These are 748 amp hour 2 volt blocks. Uh, I should not say blocks, these are 2 volt cells. So that means each of these is a single 748 amp hour. A uh, single lead acid cell. That's two volts across there. And uh, six of these means that this is one single uh, 748 amp hour uh, 12 volt battery. They weigh about 50 kilos each, so this is uh, about 300 kilos worth. And uh, uh, there's another 42 where these come from. <laughs> another 42 of these! 42 and uh, I, I can have for scrap price gonna give a bit more of a scrap price probably but geez these are basically the best cells you can get for your DIY uh, cheapo solar like just look for a single cell that's my hand that's my hand uh, th these are basically the best cells you can get uh, they also make a spe specific uh, uh, solar version of this exact cell, which I suppose is a bit more cycle to tolerant or something. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are rated for a 20 year uh, lifespan uh, at uh, 25C uh, in standby use. Uh, these are about 10 years old, I think. Uh, oh, they're, they're dated. There you go. Focus. Uh, 2010, so they're 9 years old. They're just about nine years old. This is filmed the 11th month of 2019. So these are about halfway through their 80% uh, life cycle. Uh, so yeah, if I take care of these, uh, I can get another 10 years out of them. Uh, these are ridiculously expensive. Uh, you can Google the price if you want. Uh, used, they're not worth much, but brand new. These probably set uh, the Original owner back about uh, 20 grand, all 42 of them were about yeah, f f three, four hundred euros a piece. So, yeah. <laughs> we OPZV now. We OPZV. They're just magnificent, aren't they? They just are magnificent. Okay, so the uh, Opted We uh, 2 volt cell uh, mega battery bank project has really just kick started everything uh, regarding uh, solar power uh, backup. Uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, I've had a super busy couple of last days. Uh, I've completely cleared this area of the house out. Uh, this uh, used to be like a room, storage room for various old crap uh, as well as heat pump uh, and uh, yeah this room was just chock full and I filled one van up completely to the brim with uh, lots of working stuff I just uh, had to uh, recycle it uh, well throw it away uh, got nothing out of it uh, was sad to see it go but alas we have bigger fish uh, to fry uh, so this is where the new battery banks are going to come uh, and uh, as for the old bank uh, for starters I've brought all of these batteries, sun and shine, six volts, but I've uh, completely neglected. I got these in uh, late 2015. They've just been sitting around. I charged them a couple of times. They've uh, uh, dropped down to about 6.2 volts per block, which is super frustrating. I have not done these batteries justice. They have not been in use because they've been too good for my other system. I wanted to redo it properly, but I just haven't had the time or energy to do it. So. Yeah, I just to be punched in the face for letting them rot. Uh, I'm charging them up though, and they seem to have taken quite kindly to sitting. I'm gonna to have to retest for a lot of them, but I think 
we can get a 300-ish amp hour, well, 200 maybe amp hour string out of them. If we're lucky, we can do one 48 volt string. I've got a few spares as well, so I think we can, I think we can get some utility out of those. Uh, but these old bastards, the trashy old uh, yellow batteries that completely failed me uh, in the uh, power outage uh, uh, late last year. Uh, was it this year? Yeah, it was this year. Yeah, even beginning of this year. Uh, they're, they're getting taken away. They're going to battery heaven. Uh, and since I'm a real cheapskate prior to doing that, I've just uh, pulled the plug on the UPS they're hooked up to, and uh, I'm going to be running them down. Uh, we're doing like 400 watts of load, running a couple of computers in the workshop. What do we have? Yeah, 600 VA, 415 watts. And we're drawing about 10 amps out of them. Almost 10 amps. And uh, these batteries, they are fully charged. Uh, they are hooked up to the solar. They haven't been on the load. Uh, but uh, they are not happy. They have degraded even further. Uh, just uh, due to the fact that they're, they're pretty much done for. Sadly, uh, there's not much I could have done to fix them. Uh, because if we have a look at the cell voltages... On all of them, it's 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 like twelve point four. This is down from twelve point five just a few minutes ago when I uh, threw uh, the uh, UPS on. Well, that one's still twelve point five. But yeah, total bank voltage is like uh, below fifty volts now, which is just terrible under ten amps of load. This should be f performing much better. So yeah, I'm I'm really disappointed in these yellow batteries. They have. Uh, not performed as well as they uh, should have, and I'm not entirely sure uh, why that's the case. Uh, they, they were decent when I put them in, but they've just degraded super rapidly, even though I haven't cycled them. Uh, that's uh, the silly part. They've just been sitting in standby use for most time. I've seen a few shallow cycles and one deep cycle, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to just to cough it down to me not really matching them properly. Uh, biggest problem uh, with this setup I have here is uh, uh, these batteries are so heavy on the shelf uh, that it's basically impossible for me to swap them out. Uh, when building this system, I uh, noticed that I got some back issues from lifting all of these in place, and uh, they're still lingering years later, so I'm never going to be lifting another battery like this onto a shelf like this on my own ever again. Uh, so just doing quick, like, nightly maintenance on this bank is basically impossible, so any mismatches across these cells is just, uh, well, it's been left to fester. And a few of the strings uh, we're running uh, are actually not even hooked up. They haven't been for a long time due to mismatches. You can see this guy, this string just ends here because uh, there was a bad mismatch in this string and it was just basically wasting power. Uh, one of them was sitting at 15 volts and I had to cut it so that uh, it wouldn't self-destruct. And uh, the string down there also uh, is uh, not hooked up, I don't think. Regardless, these guys are all going to the recyclers. I've arranged for someone to pick them up and uh, yeah, uh, they're gonna be sold for scrap. I'm doing the guy a favor uh, because it's uh, someone, uh, it's basically the same guy that uh, I got all the two volt opposite Vs from, uh, so I'm giving him a uh, fair price on them. Uh, he's going to be making a profit. I don't care. I'm getting good, good batteries out of it. Uh, so, uh, for the time being, uh, I'm planning on buying proper solar panels and a proper hybrid inverter uh, to go with these. Uh, MPP Solar has a couple of decent models, they seem to be pretty cheap, uh, two, three grand for uh, a 10 kilowatt three phase uh, hybrid inverter, seems pretty good, uh, and uh, then I have to source some solar panels, probably locally, uh, as well as installations to go with that. Uh, you can sometimes get some government backing for installing home solar, uh, so hopefully I can get some rebates on that, but I'll have to do my research. Uh, but yeah, uh, for the time being, I think we have uh, 18 of these cells uh, in the house. I've uh, got uh, 12 loaded off a van today. Uh, so the plan is uh, there's going to be 
few strings going along this wall. I can fit 11 cells lengthwise there, so I can get a, a 22, uh, uh, like in two long strings, then with some room to spare, and then the two final cells and the 24 uh, cell string just kind of sitting beside them uh, for 48 volt cell, uh, 48 volt, 48 volt uh, battery, and then I'm hoping to be able to fit the other 48 volt battery uh, along this wall here, probably doing like four wide there or something. It's going to be a bit messier, uh, but I think we're going to fit most stuff pretty decently in here, and then those guys like somewhere maybe just sitting there with some long fat leads uh, with inverters, control stuff going on the wall somewhere. There's something of that nature. But yeah, that's, <laughs> this has just been such a complete shock. Like being able to recycle this crap and uh, getting these beautiful, beautiful batteries. Now, I haven't really... Uh, one issue with these uh, big 2-volt blocks is uh, uh, they're basically impossible to benchmark without building a giant battery out of them. Because at 2 volts and 748 amp hours, uh, discharging these with any of my gear is just going to take literally forever. So what I can do is basically just make sure that we have reasonable cell voltages. And they've all been about 2.14 volts thus far. I would even give these are going to be very, very, very well matched. Uh, since they're just super high quality cells uh, that have been in a competent telecom installation. Gasp 2.13. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully we're going to have zero cell failures. Uh, we have no space for even a single cell failure or one of the two 48 volt strings is going to fail. So I'm really, really hoping that these haven't been banged around too much getting uninstalled. Uh, they seem, all of them thus far, have been in really good shape mechanically. Uh, no really scuff marks or anything, a bit of like rubbing there from uh, being installed, but uh, nothing too major. A couple of them have had slight bulging on the top, very, very slight, uh, but that is uh, something I've seen in most uh, horizontally installed Sun and Shine batteries. It seems to be very common, and uh, it doesn't seem to really affect them. Uh, too much, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not expecting any failures again. The, the single cells. The reason you use these is uh, because uh, they you can individually balance them. You can swap an individual cell if it does uh, happen that one fails. And indeed, these are. Uh, I can probably get one of these for about five hundred euros. Uh, if we have a single failure, and I test the rest of the cells and uh, they're fine, uh, it might be an option to just buy one of these to replace a failed cell. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully we don't have to do that, I'm not looking, I, I wouldn't want to spend like more than I spend for all of these on a single one. Uh, other things to note about these guys, uh, we seem to have a two uh, like series of them. Uh, they, they are thankfully dated from a factory. So this guy is dated 10-2010, uh, 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 which is uh, about uh, nine years and one month from today. So they are about 10 years old. You know, if you round it, round it to the nearest decade. And uh, uh, we have a serial number. This is out of focus, and it's 166-something-something. Uh, something, something. We have a bunch of 166s. And then a bunch of uh, 175s and 176s from the same era, the same manufacture date, but uh, obviously different batches. And they seem to be numbered when they were installed. Uh, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to check closer next time I'm out there fetching them. If we have like a, a complete series of 176s and a complete series of 166s, then I'm going to have to rebuild them in that order so we don't mix and match more than half to since there might be some marginal differences if they have been in two separate strings which they of course have i strongly doubt they've been like parallel together two and two they're going to be uh, two strings in series because that's that's how you do it so you have redundancy you can take one bank offline to swap cells 
Uh, but yeah, gosh, such a shock, such a complete and utter shock. Haha. <laughs>